Hi, I'm Ryan Woodings, founder of MetaGeek, and today I'm very excited to show you the new stuff we've done in IPA 2.3. And to do that, I'm going to do a comparison with IPA 2.2. On the left is 2.2, which is the current version, and on the right is 2.3, which is the new hotness. This is using a packet capture file from my home. Since we're all working from home these days, it seemed like a good, a good sample to show everybody. My network is called Team Woodings. And you can see that shortly into this packet capture, I did a throughput test. This was using my iPhone SE, and we'll take a look at that. So this is Team Winnings. We'll drill down on both versions. And then it looks like most of the traffic is coming from this AP, Office AP. So we'll drill into that. As I mentioned, there was a throughput test, and so I just want to narrow in the throughput test. So I'm going to grab the time frame here and we'll make an adjustment to to just do the testing and then I'll go and do that on IP 2.2 as well and one problem that 2.2 had is anytime you change the time frame or the subframe filters it would reset the tree and all the drill down and so now we have to drill back down again okay so now we're looking at office AP on 2.2 and on 2.3 now I want to show you the packets table. There's some new stuff in the packets table that's pretty awesome. Okay. In 2.2, you can see that my device is using a data rate of 433 megabits per second. But you don't have any details behind that data rate. On 2.3, it's now showing you the MCS index, and you can also even see the spatial stream column. And so if you're using the Realtek-based packet capture adapters that IP now supports, it will um, record the MCS and spatial streams that it's using. And that's pretty cool because that gives you a lot more insight into why a device is using that specific data rate and what that means. OK, let's jump over to the Analyze tab in both of them. In 2.2, it just showed you the SSID name of each access point. And if you have a mesh system or you have multiple access points on that channel like I do, then they all look the same. It just says Team Woodings, Team Woodings, Team Woodings. In IP 2.3, we added the AP alias, and so now it's much easier to tell, to tell which access point is which instead of them all looking the same. Okay, one thing we did in IP 2.3 is we totally rebuilt the packet parsing engine. It's much faster now and also takes less memory. And to show you that, we're going to open a really large file. This packet capture is about 230 megs. It's 2.2 million packets um, that took about 20 minutes. And so we'll start that capture in IPA 2.2. And we'll go over and open that same file in IPA 2.3. One thing we did with the new packet capture is a lot of times if you're trying to capture a specific event, the packet capture files get really, really long. And so we've said, well, let's just slice them into chunks. So IPA will now open up 500,000 packets at a time, and then it'll pause. And so right now what it's doing is it's calculating, analyzing those first 500,000 packets of this packet capture. And for any time that there's more than 500,000 packets, you'll get this next page button. And so IP 2.3 finished, it's showing you the first 500,000 packets, and IP 2.2 is still trying to open the file. Now we can go over to IP 2.3, we can go next, and it'll jump to the next 500,000 packets. And so if you have a really, really large PCAP file, IP can now open it, and it'll just go along chunk, 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 and so you can still get a pretty good analysis of that file without having to use other tools to like break it up into smaller files or something like that. You'll notice on the left, IP 2.2 is still struggling to try to open the entire file all at once. Um, eventually, what it's going to do is it's actually just going to crash. It can't open this file because the file is just so large and it takes so much memory for IP 2.2 to try to open the entire thing all at once. So this is one thing that's really awesome about IP 2.3. It's fast. Um, it can open up super large files and now has, has the MCS index column to give you a little bit more insight about what's going on with your data, data packets. So I really hope that you enjoy IP 2.3, and you can download it now from metageek.com support slash downloads. Thank you.